I've got the perfect thing for you. If you get cold in your office or when you're out for dinner at a restaurant and you've got bare shoulders, these are awesome summertime, springtime sweater sleeves. Let's get started making this really cute project. All right, this I'm doing straight on my Centro 48 needle knitting machine and it's super easy. You make a tube for the sleeves, you switch into a flat panel, but you don't switch out of tube mode, and then you go back to making a tube. I show you step by step how to do it. We're casting on with waste yarn, knitting 60 rows, then I'm going in and picking up three stitches so that I can work flat for 90 rows and then I will cast on three stitches and work 60 rows and then cast off with waste yarn. That's basically the whole thing. So right here I am using a piece of scrap yarn on a darning needle and picking up three stitches off of the needles. We will not be working across those empty needles now. We're going to make, I'm going to make 90 rows because I need 18 inches to go across my back. Work it whatever gauge you need to do to get the number of stitches you need to get. Then I'm going to work back and forth in a panel, being very careful of my edges. I don't want to end up with the edges being really wobbly and, you know, pulled funny. So I'm going to work back and forth very carefully for 90 rows. And then I'm going to cast on using a backwards E loop for each of the three needles, making sure that those needles are pulling down the yarn all the way and making a full stitch. You need to be careful the first couple times you go across the needles because you wanna make sure that the belly of the needle, the, the bump in the front, has the yarn being pulled down in front of it. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm getting it down in front of that needle, or in front of that belly, and then I'm going to work my way across and work my way around. I'm going to do the same number of stitches on this side, the same number of rows on the second sleeve as I did on the first sleeve. You can make this any length of sleeves you want. You're not limited by what I tell you to do. This is an experiment and you are awesome because you're taking on the experiment. So now, the first couple times going past the needles, you just want to make sure that the stitch drops all the way down. And after you're past it a couple rows, you're fine. You can just sail on through the way you normally do. I love this for those offices, the restaurants, the cool evening sitting on the porch. Uh, if you've got air conditioning in your house in the summertime, having something across your shoulders just makes a such a difference to your quality of life. So we're increasing our quality of life here. Cast off with waste yarn. And I'm doing like five rows and then just spinning it off. I love that part. You just spin it off and the whole thing just drops off and you don't have to worry about it. I don't show you how I'm finishing the edges. I forgot to record that part. But what I did is a slip stitch around the cuffs and then I did a small scallop with my crochet hook. Uh, just because I like the how that waist yarn actually looked, I wanted to do something that kind of mimicked that because I, I like that white waist yarn on the edge. Then on the opening around the back, I did a single crochet around the entire opening and then I did a half double crochet around the entire opening and just a simple crochet edge in each of the stitches. So here it is completely finished. I am so tickled by how this turned out. You can wear this as a hood. That opening there goes right over the top of your head and then the two arms get wrapped around your neck to become like the ties and get tucked into your uh, jacket. So this will take you into the fall and winter if you want it to. Go out, do something creative, take care of yourself and be kind to everybody. And let's have some fun knitting up some really cute things.